thank the uh, Taoiseach for his reply. Taoiseach, in your communications and that of your department with the, with the National Economic and Social Council, I would ask that specific consideration be given by the Council to a study on the particular challenges facing the border region. We are all well aware that Brexit will continue to have adverse impacts, particularly in the border economy, both north and south, much more so than anywhere else throughout this island, and that, that has already been demonstrated by studies. Unfortunately, the COVID pandemic will also impact more severely on enterprise and commerce in our smaller towns and villages, which, is, which are typical of population and business dispersal in the border counties. We need a joined up approach to tackle these issues at central and local government level. I believe that worthwhile analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of the economy at local level should inform decision making. Going forward, such detailed economic analysis should be of a cross-border and all-Ireland basis, which should run in a complementary manner to the worthwhile work of the shared island unit. We have many challenges in the border region, but we have also opportunities. We should have and we need to develop new areas for economic and social development, so I believe we need national and regional strategies. I will talk often in this House about the need for infrastructural development in counties such as Cavan and Manan, but we have also a huge um, resource in, in social and educational infrastructure. We can cater for a growth in population because we have the voluntary and sporting infrastructure there. In most cases, we have it in education as well. We may need it in roads and in other areas and broadband and that. But I believe that there, there are particular challenges that we must tackle, but there are also opportunities that we must seize, but we must do it on a, on a, on a regional, well thought out and well focused Way. Thank you, Ken Corley. Thank you very much, Deputy Smith. Uh, in terms of the uh, Deputy Smith's point, I think he's made a very uh, pertinent point or, uh, in, in relation to the border area. Now, NESC is doing work on the shared island, the projects, the, pro the pro progress and policy scoping, um, and that's to build up our shared knowledge base, understanding about possible ways in which greater cooperation can emerge across economic, social, and environmental areas in Ireland, north and south and between these islands, east and west. Um, and the very substantive work is now underway by NESC uh, to provide advice to me and the government on strategic policy issues relating to sustainable economic, social and environmental development. Um, and, and I would say to the deputy that in addition to that work, I will take up your point uh, in respect of um, a more specific focus on the border region and the, economic of the, the economy of the border region and will approach NESC uh, with a view to as perhaps an addendum to the shared island work or a parallel with it to see if more work can be done in terms of uh, the border area. Uh, but the shared island will obviously, as you have suggested, uh, deal with a number of issues in respect of the border. Uh, as you know, we did announce the funding for the narrow water bridge, uh, which I think will have significant economic impact in that area. Uh, and the funding will allow it to get to tender stage and more funding will be provided once that's uh, done and Lowell County Council will lead, uh, will be the lead agency in that regard. Um, and